Yo guys, how's it going? My name is Dineander and welcome to my second channel, DL Games, and welcome back to another episode of my TCG series called Road to the World Championships. Now, last episode, I faced off against my friend Jamie Cook, where he used a champion or the world championship deck that was used in 2019's world championships and we managed to get the win against it which means my deck is actually pretty good so i'm, I'm kind of happy with my deck building skills i still feel like i have a lot to improve um but seeing i beat that i'm very happy that it kind of can go like toe to toe with those sort of decks so very happy with that episode if you haven't checked it out make sure you go check it out we did a best of three and it was very intense i know i've kind of given away but there was more than just one game in there so you can see how we play and uh, if you want to see what those decks look like make sure you go check it out but in today's episode as you can see we are back on the tcg online series and uh we're going to be looking into trading now i mentioned this a couple episodes ago um, and some of you guys were interested in how to do it and stuff like that So I'm gonna go through that today and also we're gonna try and add a brand new card to my deck Which is going to be a game changer. I feel so let's get into it So if you want to uh, trade obviously you have the play button here, which has the uh, challenge the versus events tutorials um, And also we might look into doing an event soon But I also feel like we need to change our deck because I think that you can't actually use some cards at the moment. I'm pretty sure. If I go join now. Oh, I actually can. Alright, we might actually do that next episode though, then. Okay, so that's amazing that we can do that. Because it wasn't letting me do it um, like last week. It said it was giving me something which said that you can't use certain cards three weeks after they are released or something like that. But we can do that now. So we're going to do that next episode. But like I mentioned, trading today is... Uh, in the second tab here, you've got Collection, Deck Manager, Trade. Now, the way I do it is um, I put up cards that I want. That I want. So, okay, for instance, we know that um, I to make my deck better, what I need is, and as you've probably seen in a lot of players I've used, a lot of people use this Jirachi card. Uh, they use a Dedenne GX card. And also, I'm now seeing a lot of people use a Zacian card, which is the card we're actually going to look to get um in today's episode so what i would do is if there's a card i want and i don't have um i would type in let's go for zation for example he's popped up here so you've got the zation v card the zation uh, full art and then the secret rare as well so what i would do is i would click on each one of these and see how there's a love heart here um i would put i'd click that for wanted um i've clicked all three of them and that has put it in a tab that like i want that card um, you'll understand why in a second. So another card I would want is, say, Jirachi. Uh, I think that's how you spell it. Yeah, Jirachi. Now, there are so many Jirachi cards. Um, but the ones you want the most are these ones here from this set, which is... Um, I can't remember what set that is. Is it going to tell me? I think that's... I can't remember. Uh, apologies, I, I can't remember what it's from. Um, but... The reason you want these ones, and as you can see, I've marked them here. They've got a blue tick. If I, if there is a card I don't want, see how it's green? When you want it, it goes blue. So, And the reason is for this ability here called Stellar Wish, which is once uh, during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal a trainer card you find there and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your cards back into your deck, which is amazing to get cards out of your deck as quickly as possible, especially trainer cards. So Drachi is another one that I definitely would want. Uh, so as you can see, I've marked the ones that I want. And then there's also other cards, but we'll just use those for examples. So then you go to the trade tab. And it has my trade offers, public trade offers, offers to me, and trade history. Now, you want to go to public offers. And it's just going to bring up a load of cards that, um, a load of, uh, yeah, cards that you, that are up for right now. But one thing actually I forgot to mention before we do that is, um, another way is to, if you go to deck manager... And you go to, no not deck manager, sorry, collection. And you go to packs. A lot of people want to trade cards for packs. So if you can, if you have one of these uh, cards, see how here you can have the love heart as well. You can put for um, one, and I think you can do for trade. See here you can do trade. I can't do it on these ones because they're untradeable. So we'll open them at the end of the episode. But here you can put for trade. So that can let people know that you want to trade packs but i've also put for one uh for those see like if anyone wants to put up a certain card for those packs so anyway you go to trade um and then what we're going to do is go to public offers now because i want a zation card i could just search here zation and see if anything comes up uh zation and we've got one here 
Um, but the, the better way to do this, let's see if that's, no, it's just a normal version. Okay, so the best way to do this, you click on cards, click on cards again, and it says trade in. Now, obviously I want the Zacian card, which I've put the L blue love heart want on. I've, I've marked I want that card. So if I click, I'm trading, I'm getting. So this will be like people giving me, they'll be putting up the card that I want. Um, and then for want, it's just going to bring up cards that I've put down for want. That So it's going to be offers that I want the card that I've marked, if that makes sense. Now, if I get off here, now you're going to see all the Zation V like uh, offers that are out at the moment. See, see here it says I'm getting. So this is the card you're going to get and they want that. So for instance, uh, here... A lot of people want around 22 sword and shield packs, which luckily I have at the moment. Um, there's a Zacian here for a Dedene, and it's a secret rare Zacian. So that shows how rare a Dedene card is. Uh, so you might want to keep that if you have one. Or if you do have it, you, you can actually like demand a lot of things for it, because a lot of people want it. It's a very high in demand card. So um, here you can see, now if you right click on it, you can see what the actual offer is because a lot of people might try and trick you uh, just to let you guys know see here it says Zacian and two more you might think oh my god someone's putting up three Zacian cards for 21 packs when really that's not the case they're putting up a Zacian an air balloon and a quick ball which you don't really want so just be wary of that uh, make sure you always look into the deal before you commit uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through these and we're gonna see how many if, if we can get a cheap one see because what I'm seeing right now it looks like people want it for 20 22 packs a Zation V um, so I'm gonna see if we can get one for a bit cheaper you're seeing one here for 21 now if I do up okay that doesn't work all right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through them all and then see if we can uh, actually get a good one like what would be really cool is if you can find one that's like a full art version or a, a gold version I doubt that's gonna happen but you never know so I'm just gonna go through them all. So, so someone here wants 22. Uh, that one's the same one. My bad. It's really hard to tell which ones you want. That's uh, 20, 22 as well. Here, someone wants to give a quick ball and an air balloon for 22, which is probably better to be honest. Metal saucer, as well. Uh, it's just ways of people trying to get it. But what I'm really looking for here is to see if there's one that um, has the full art version. Because someone might just go, you know what? If, I really want to get rid of it, so I have my full art version. Uh, so, let's just go for them all. Zation. And worst case, we can just get the, the one that's uh, someone's offering the lowest amount of packs for. I wish you could kind of do a drop down arrow though. Because it is hard to see. So this one's called Zaddy. So that's the one for the Dene, which we're not going to go for. Ooh, oh, that's a Dene, Dene as well. That would have been nice if we could have got that secret rare there for 22 packs, but I doubt it. It's very it's very unlikely that it's going to happen. But like I said, you never know. This is why we hunt. This is why we hunt on the trades. There's no point rushing straight in. That person wants 22 packs. Hunter wants 22 packs. Oh, so this guy's putting up loads of Zations. 22 packs. 22 packs. Uh... And then that's a Dedene. And that's... Oh, that's not all of them. Okay. Uh, that's just a normal one. Normal one. Normal one. Uh, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. So we're here now. So this person wants 21. Okay. So we're now getting someone who's, who's willing to do it for one pack less. Which is worth it. This is why you go through it. Because we might find someone that only wants 20 packs for it. And then we can start saving up to get... A Jirachi or something. So see here, someone wants to give a Jirachi for a Dedene, which I don't know if that's worth it. I'm not too sure about that one. It seems like the Dedenes are very, very um, rare. All right, chicken. No. Okay. 21 packs again. 21 packs. It's annoying that it doesn't say the version on the outside, so you have to click in all of them, which is a bit annoying, but... It is what it is. Um, no, okay. The Dene, no, we don't want to do that one. We don't want to do that. That's 22 packs. The last two here, 22 packs. 
and 22 packs. Alright, so realistically, we're going to go for one that's cheaper. So let's find one that just says, if there's a 19, that's brilliant, but I don't think there is. So it looks like we're going to have to go for one that says 20 packs, which is one here. So I say we go for this one. So what you do is you, let me just double check before I commit actually. 20 packs, 20 packs, 20 packs, 20 packs, 20 packs. All right, cool. Uh, where did it go? Here's one. All right, here we go. So now that I've decided I want this one for 21 packs, because um, it's always, it says 20 packs plus one, so it means 21 packs. So we're getting the Zation for 21 packs, which I'm willing to do to get this card. Hit tr uh, yes, trade's complete. So I've traded 21 packs for a Zation. Now if I go to my collection and type in Zation, boom, there it is. So we actually have it now. Now, what we can do is add it to my deck, which is amazing. So if I go to Cinderace, uh, edit, uh, and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this Torkoal because I never really use it. Um, it is a good card. But the only thing that's quite annoying on it is that it has four. Um, it has four uh, retreat cost, which is kind of annoying. If someone can switch, like does a um, Pokemon catcher, and I don't have any energy on it, it's going to take a long time to get out. But there we go. We've added the Zation V card, which now is amazing because it has the ability, which is really good. It says um, it's called In Intrepid Sword. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three of your deck, three cards of your deck, and attach any number of metal energy cards you find there to this Pokemon. Put the other cards into your hand. If you use this ability, your end, uh, your turn ends. So basically, if I have a really bad hand and I can't even attack, I can just use this ability and I can get three cards into my hand without doing anything. So that's a really good, um, really good ploy to use. Really good way to get cards into my hand as well. So he's added to the deck. We're gonna hit save. Uh, we'll keep. We're gonna call this now. What should we call this deck, guys? Let me know what we should call this deck in the comment section. But for now, we'll call it Sword and uh, let's now let's call it. What should we call it? We'll just keep it Cinderace for now. Um, and then that's all good. That's all good. Save that. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what we should call it. I need a, I need a name for this deck. Um, and then, boom, right. So, let's test it out in a game, I reckon. And then next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to um, put it to the test in an event. So, hopefully, we can do well on that and get some rewards as well. So, let's get into a quick game. I get to call heads. Or, I get the coin tossed. I've lost. He's probably going to choose me to go first. And he has. Okay, so first up, let's put um, Meowth in the active slot. And let's get into it. Right, so he's got a Mulligan first, uh, first go. I feel like this guy's going to be tough though. He's got some interesting sleeves, which usually means that um, he's going to be a hard opponent. Let's put Cinderace down. Yep, Jirachi, should have guessed. Um, okay, so. We're going to use that to get two energy cards. And I'm going to put one on Meowth. And then hopefully next, uh, next, not next episode, next turn I get another fire energy and I can just start attacking instantly. But as you can see, this person's got Jirachi. I mentioned it earlier that, that this is a very sought after card. Very useful card. Um, so I can see, like I said, we're going to have to try and get those cards to put into a deck, which is going to cost a lot of packs, unfortunately, but it'll be worth it, I, I, I think, and I hope. But let's see what this person does. Now, what I can tell from the off Oh, that's annoying. Is um, he's put Inkado, uh, Ink down, which he's gonna want to evolve into. Um, I can't remember the evolved forms called, but it has an ability where it can use. Uh, it can go into the discard pile and pick out uh, any energy and put it onto any Pokemon, which is very useful. It's basically a way of putting two energy cards down in one go. Um, and he's just put out uh, Garantina. 
which is interesting. Viridian Forest. So I'm hope I'm hoping to get a Chaos Swirl, which would stop him being able to get energies out like that. But let's use the switch to get a fire energy. We're then going to use Welder on Meowth. And we're going to take that Jirachi out instantly. Oh, that's very good that we get a uh, we get a Meowth VMAX after. Hopefully he doesn't do anything that's going to cause me to have to shuffle my hand. Um, like a Marnie or a Judge or a, a Reset Stamp. That would be very annoying. But let's see what happens. All right, so he's evolved. Hopefully he... Oh, wait, does he have any... Okay, so he doesn't have any psychic energy in his discard pile. So this is what Malmar, that's what it's called. Here's the ability. Once you're in your turn, before you uh, may attach a psychic energy from your discard pile. So he can't do that yet, which is very good. And what I might actually... Oh, I can't. Okay. I was going to say what I was going to do is use Ninetales' ability to swap it out. But I don't have two fire energies, which is slightly annoying. But anyway, what we're going to do is add an energy to Meowth. Turn it into a Meowth VMAX. We might not even get to use the Zacian yet. We're going to attack it. Unfortunately, it's going to do some health, uh, some damage to us. Because uh, he's got a spell tag on, which uh, once it gets knocked out, you can put 40 damage on any Pokemon. And I think you can spread that. So he technically could put 10 on each of my bench Pokemon. But it's a total of 40. And we want to get rid of this Malmar as quickly as possible. Ooh. Oh, okay. There we go. We, we, we get the W. He He's quit. He knows that he doesn't uh, can't do anything. But he put down a Mimikyu, which has a move which literally can copy the previous attack. So he would have done 200 damage to my Meowth, which would have been mental, seeing as it's a, like a basic Pokemon. But we get the W. So let's end the video off with a little pack opening. So let's go on to the packs. And we got quite a... Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I, I couldn't find the... I swear I got a chest and it's right here. Right, so we got a lot of stuff to open in this video, to be fair. So we've got four, four um, Sword and Shield untradeable packs. As you can see, they're locked there, which means they're they're untradeable. Uh, three Unified Minds, one Cosmic Eclipse. We've got a rare hollow chest, which I've never opened before. And these tins, which I'm willing to trade. If any of you guys want to add me up on here, I could trade you a deck. It comes with a, a battle deck, so maybe I could do that. Uh, so let's open these uncommon chests first. See what we get. So we get a five coins and a Bellaba and Bryce Man uh, trainer support card. Let's open another one. Let's see what we get. We get five coins again. And if we can flip the card, we get an unknown. Okay, cool. So I think you can get any card in these chests. Like genuinely any card. I'm not too sure, but um, it, it's always random. And they're from different sets. So, I don't, like, I've, I've never packed something amazing from here, but you never know. I think you could get something good. Uh, we get a Mewtwo. Reverse Hollow as well from Hidden Fate. Oh, no, it's un Unifying uh, Unbroken Bond, sorry. Then we got one more, and there you go. We get a Jiggly, uh, Iggly Buff, sorry. Uh, which doesn't look too great. Had an ability and no moves. And then last but not least, we get a Breloom and 10 coins. Okay. So, we've opened all those. We'll open the Sword and Shield packs last. If we can get another Zacian, that'd be amazing. Let's go for the uh, Cosmic Eclipse packs, pack next. Let's open that up. Come on. Let's get a Charizard Brexen Rainbow Rare again. I pulled that. Can I get it again? Flip these two coins over. We get an em uh, Empoleon. And the last card is a Cradilly. Okay. Nothing amazing. Up next, we have unbro three Unbroken Bonds packs. What are we going to get? We could get the Rainbow Rare uh, Reshiram Charizard. I'm trying. To, I'm going to start hunting for that in real life, I think. I really want that card. Really badly. Um, so if you guys would like to see that, do let me know in the comment section. What do we get next? Let's flip it. We get a Sharpedo. And the last uh, pack for the Unbroken Bonds. Can we get a GX card or a tag team GX? Let's flip it over. No, we don't. We get the one Pokemon I can never say. Crabominable. I can't say that blimmin' Pokemon's name. Right. 
three unifying minds now. Then we got four um, sword and shield and this massive chest. But we're going to open the chest in the packs. So never, I've never opened one, so it could be trash. <laughs> okay, flip that over. He uh, honk crow, honch crow. Sorry. I'd love a rainbow rare Mew Mew too. That would be amazing. We get a Haxorus. Last one. We still haven't got a GX card, you know. Come on. Pokemon, what are you doing? What are you playing at? We get a Chandelure, which, by the way, this card is amazing. It's actually amazing. And the last card is a Latias. Okay, cool. I like Latias and Latios. Let's open this chest. Here we go. I don't know what you get in this. You get 20 coins. And what's this card going to be? A Sil Valley Hollow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Glad I opened that before these packs, though. <laughs> right, we've got four of these packs. What are we going to get? Can we get another Zacian? Oh, imagine, guys. We get a Drapion, non hollow. Two more packs. Before we wrap this video up, let's end it with a V card. Oh, Galarian Obstagoon. Very nice card. Come on. Please. These packs have been trash. Oh my god, we get a Noctowl. Is this the last one? We have one more pack, guys. Here we go. Let's end on a bang. Let's end on a bang. What's it going to be? Flip it. Oh my god, it's a Cloister regular rare. Are you joking me? Okay, guys, we're going to end the video there. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Hopefully, you kind of learned how to trade. Um, and let me know in the comment section if I can, if you have any questions, I can try and help out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics of it. And we actually managed to get that Zacian card that I've put into my deck. Um, so I'm very, very excited to try that out. And in the next episode, we're going to try an event and uh, see how well it can do during that. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. If we can hit over 15 likes, that'd be amazing. If you are new, subscribe. Join the Charizard gang. Join my Discord as well. The uh, Discord group is in the description. Also, make sure you follow my Instagram and uh, all my other socials are above my head. You've got my Twitter, Instagram, and my main channel. Go subscribe. Follow all that. But I'll see you in the next video. Until then, deuces.